Have you tried the new Mugler Aura? I've been asked quite a lot about the Aura. Um, this is from Mugler Fragrances, who were the creators of Angel and Alien. All of their fragrances are very unique. The Angel and Alien is quite a sweet fragrance. Um, the Angel is honey and chocolate. The Alien is a jasmine based. And then you have this one, the latest one, uh, we launched earlier this year, 2017. And the Aura is classed as a woody aromatic. So this is supposed to represent the aura of every woman. And it's a blend of um, bot botanical freshness and feline sensuality. So first of all, I'm going to spray the fragrance. And just give it a couple of seconds to settle. So definitely, it's a very unique fragrance. Quite mysterious and sensual. Definitely can smell the vanilla in the base. So the top notes of this particular fragrance is grapefruit and rhubarb leaves. And when you first smell it, it can smell a little sour. So it's sweet and sour, but I think that's probably the rhubarb in it. And then in the heart notes, you have orange blossom and then an essence called tiger liana, which actually, after some research, actually is from the vine. So that's probably where they get the botanicals from and also why um, on the advert it's very much like a jungle theme. And then on the base, you've got a bourbon vanilla and also wolfwood. And I think the wolfwood is a molecule and I'm assuming that it must be like an animalistic note and wood, which is obviously what gives it that sort of like woodsy, very sort of like sensual base. What I would say about this fragrance is it's probably not going to be for everybody, but somebody that maybe wears a lot of the sweeter fragrances or fragrances that contain vanilla or like those deep, sensual, heavy fragrances such as maybe the Tom Ford, the Black Orchid or the um, Velvet Orchid, um, the Poison Girl which contains sort of like almonds and vanilla. Um, the Armani Code Satin, which is a vanilla-based fragrance as well. This would be an ideal fragrance for them. Definitely, it's going to be a long-wearing and long-lasting, and I think it's going to get a lot better as it sort of dries down. It's going to be a lot more easy to wear. Um, it's probably not one that I would wear. I'm probably more of um, an alien girl, something which is more... Um, jasmine or floral base but I think that this is going to be a lovely one for Christmas definitely the bottle is very attractive it's multifaceted I think to sort of like show the many sides of a lady um, dark green and I think the colour is um, supposed to signify sort of like life and hope and also the balance between um, the mind body and soul so definitely a lovely one. Um, I know that you can get it in a gift set if they're still around. I know that it's only a week now till Christmas. But the other good thing about these particular uh, Mugler bottles are once you've bought them, they are all refillable. So most stores that, or department stores that you get this from will also do a flacon that you can actually um, funnel into the bottle and refill it. And you normally save maybe sort of 30 pounds on each bottle. So this starts at a 30ml which is £52, your 50ml which is £70 and then your 100ml bottle which is this size which is £90 um, and I think your refill uh, is 100ml so um, whatever the size of the bottle you'll definitely be able to either refill the 100ml once or the 50ml twice so there are large savings on those and I know that they do a shower gel and a body lotion as well so always handy if the lady that you're buying it for likes to layer her fragrance to make it last longer. So that's just a quick review on this one. So I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my next video where I'm going to be doing a very special one on some uh, Creed um, fragrances. So bye for now. See you soon. Bye.